This might be one of my most favorite paint schemes for Battle Max yet. It's Clan Smoke Jaguar's New Galaxy. For the priming step, we're going to our tried and true Mechanicus Standard Gray from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints. And of course, I'm using my custom design 3D printed priming tool. A link to my Etsy store where you can buy the STL files for this tool can be found in the description below. The next step's pretty easy. We're coating the entire miniature in a black wash. I've got Citadel Shades Nun Oil. And yeah, just coat the entire miniature, let it dry, and I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Moving on from one type of thinned down paint to another, I'm working with some Citadel Contrast paints in the form of Blood Angels Red. And I'm doing something you're probably not supposed to do with this paint, and that's precise painting. So I'm putting some of this color down on my wet palette and very carefully I'm coloring in the red armor panels that cover the mechs of the new galaxy. Just don't screw up here. There's not a real way to fix things if you screw up. With the contrast paints dried, we're going to move on to some edge highlighting. I'm working with Evisceration from Coldcraft line of paints. And I'm imagining there's a light source kind of hovering off to the left shoulder of the mech. That's kind of how I like to highlight my mechs. And any of the edges of the red armor panels that kind of would reflect the light from that source are being edge highlighted. Next up for edge highlighting, we've got the rest of the armor panels, all the gray things. So I'm going to do the same process I just did with the red panels. But this time I'm using a lighter gray color. I've got Dawnstone Gray from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paint. It's time to work on the mechanical areas of the battle mech. If you watched my videos before, you know this involves things like gun barrels, jump jets, heat sinks, actuators. And right now they have a base of gray on them, and we want to mostly cover them with a silver color. I've got Shining Silver from Army Painters War Paint series. The next step to finish up the mechanical pieces is to just apply a non-oil wash on top of them. On the last final details right here, I'm working with a bright blue. In this case, it's Temple Guard Blue from Games Workshop, set at a line of paints. And I'm just painting up the laser emitters, PPC projectors. I think it's an auto cannon on top there because that looks cool. It's time to paint the cockpit glass, and for that, I have bright gold from Army Painters War Paint series. I decided to give mine two layers of paint just to get a nice even finish. The last step is a bit of a blue outline that runs around the cockpit on the new Galaxy Mechs. And for that, I've got Alt Dwarf Guard Blue from Games Workshop, set it a line of paints, and this is where you'll fix any mistakes you just made when you painted outside the cockpit glass. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. This is truly one of my most favorite paint schemes. I like it a lot better than the first time I took on Clan Smoke Jaguar. Oh, it's been a while though, hasn't it? Well over a year. So I think going forward, all my new mechs for this particular clan are gonna have to be New Galaxy, cause yeah, it seriously is awesome. And it's not that hard as you guys just saw right there. Well, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. If you guys like more battle mech painting action, cause it's always riveting and exciting, Feel free to hit that subscribe button, go back through the YouTube video list. I have a playlist for Battletech, I think. <laughs> Hopefully you got a basic idea of how YouTube works if you're watching this kind of stuff. If not, well, it's all there one place or another. And if you've got a certain faction or unit or whatever you want to see me try to paint up, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I do periodically take requests for these videos. A number of them have come from people making requests. It may take me a few months to get to them but I do go ahead and get to them eventually, most of the time. If I ignore one of your comments from a while ago, feel free to post it again and I'll try to get to it, sorry. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you next time.